Hey girl, it's Sonia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a huge Amazon haul, like huge. I hope you're comfortable. Get yourself a little snack, a little drink, maybe even your computer on the side so that you can look at these products as I'm going through them because I've got a lot of cute ones, okay? So before we get into this video, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet to join my family and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see my entire top section. I'm gonna try on all of the blouses that I purchased. So here is the first top on, and there is a side zipper here to get you in and out of the top without busting it because it is tight around your midsection. It's super flowy, and I'm getting like Belle or Princess Jasmine vibes from the sleeves, up or down. I feel like it's super cute. I love the fact that it, it does go tight on the waist and it's very flowy on the top. This part actually makes me look smaller than I am. How cute is this color? And when I work on my tan this summer, it's gonna look even better. Okay, so to this outfit, I'm adding this belt and I actually purchased this to go over like big shirts or a dress to cinch the waist, things like that. So I just thought it was a really cute little touch. Very like cowgirl and I love it. I have a little necklace set here as well as a J for my son. And it actually comes with the two pieces for layering and you can actually adjust the length of these as well. They've got tons of letters to choose from so it doesn't have to be a J. Here is the next one. We have some bows that you can tie yourself here at the top. They're adjustable, they're pretty long as well. Let me show you, super long tie them like you would your shoelaces, and ta-da! The straps are thick enough to conceal my nude colored bra so you don't have to wear, you know, a stropolis. This part of this top is really stretchy, and as you can see, it's cropped. I have a really big chest. I'm currently in between the D and double D land, and a medium fits me just perfect. Love the color. It comes in tons of other shades as well. I'm considering getting yellow and orange. I just know that they're going to look really nice on a summer tan. So what do you guys think about this one? Okay, so next up is going to be this top here and this is what it looks like on the hanger. It looks really small in this section so I'm hoping that it will stretch and fit perfect. So let's try it on. So it's stretched nicely around my waist. Oh, it actually looks like I have a waist. Okay. And at the sides we have some ties and it pulls the material too. So when you pull it tight, it actually makes the waist go in just a bit. I also like the fact that the front is not so low plunging that I'm falling out. It looks great and you can do this and it, nothing's gonna happen. Ooh, girl. This is a size medium and I would say it's true to size. This is gonna be a no. I don't know, I don't like the materials, like way too shiny for me. It looks older than I feel, okay? Here's the next one, and I actually got a set of three. Fits really snug like a bodysuit, and it's long enough to tuck into my high rise jeans, but I'm just worried that after time that it might roll up and expose a whole Longha, you know, like I'm not ready for that. It's a really cute muscle tee that comes right at the corner, like just the smallest little pinch at the corner. You will have to make sure you wear a nude bra, a black bra, or a white bra, depending on the color that you wear because they are on the sheer side, depending if you're a busty gal like me. I'm gonna bust out of this shirt. I like it though. I like the way that they feel. Okay, so I have the white version of that blank muscle shirt that I just showed you, and I'm gonna be trying on this skirt. I'm gonna have to wear it a little higher since I don't really have a waist, so I'm gonna fake it. Because I, if I were to bring it down to where my midsection's at, it would just make me look way too wide. So I have it on now, and this is what it looks like riding high on my body. It's got some ties here in the front as well. What do you guys think? Should this stay or should this go? I love the print. I think it's really pretty. There's the spin. This material is really thin, and there is no built-in slip, which might be a concern for you if you're wearing dark colored undergarments, but keep it on the nude side and you're gonna be okay. There's a peak on the inside. Overall, 
Love the skirt, and I think it's so pretty. I love the colors and the floral pattern. Okay, next is another skirt. This one is high waisted and it goes pretty long. Hopefully you guys can see. It goes right up to like my ankle. And again, I'm gonna have to wear it pretty high since I don't really have a waist. These are the skirts that I've always wanted to wear, but I stay away from them because of my body shape. And now I'm like, no, if I think it's pretty, I'm gonna wear it. I'd probably wear maybe like a cropped jean jacket over top, something that can break up this lock. Now let's see how adding a belt will change things. Yay! I love the belt situation, yes. How about a little hat? The little dots, the little polka dots remind me of Pretty Woman when she goes to the races, the horse races. Girl, okay. Here is the next skirt. It is another, I think this would be considered midi, right? It's a long one, it goes all the way to my ankles and I love the print, I think it's so pretty. It's got pleating all the way down to the floor. I'm also going to be putting on this little stretchy belt and it's got cute details in the front as well. I honestly feel like the skirt is tighter than the belt. I just think it looks really cute. What do you guys think? This next one is a skirt. TikTok made me do this, okay? It's like a little pleated skirt. I don't know if it's like a tennis skirt or a uniform skirt. It feels like slacks, like really nice thick material. And it's got built-in shorts in it, so I'm really happy about that. So as you can see, there's shorts under here and a side zipper. I got this in a size medium and it is true to size. Hardly any stretch in the skirt, but really, really nice. I love the fact that the waistband is not stretchy and it's flat all the way across. And it's got a good inch, if not two inches of a border here, which is nice because it doesn't cut me off and create a roll. I've seen girls wear like oversized sweatshirts or polo tops and things like that. So I'm definitely gonna have fun styling this skirt. But as it is already, I love it. And I can do this, and I can do this. And I'm covered because they're shorts. Okay, so here is the next one. I wanted to get a lounge set for the house, something that's comfortable but still super cute. And I decided to go with this gray. I always go nude black, but today I went with gray and I'm so happy that I did. It is a bit oversized and I guess it's good because things tend to shrink in my wash. So if it does shrink a bit, I'm gonna be okay. I kinda like the fact that it's super like loose fitting. It's not very restricting, so you can know I'm comfortable. It's lightweight and it's not as warm as I thought it was gonna be because it is more on the thermal side, but it's not something that I feel like I would overheat in my sleep. Next up is kind of like a little jumpsuit because it looks like it would be some kind of a short dress, but it's actually shorts, which I think is super cute. And I really love the top here. This is super trendy, very 90s. There are adjustable straps, similar to the purple one I showed you earlier. You can tighten them. I forget what it's called. This is like more like a mushroom brown color, I guess. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. Again, since I don't have the smallest waist, look how much more slim and small it looks here in the midsection because of the fluting of the shorts. Like they kind of go out a little bit and this is fitted in this bust area, so super flattering. <laughs> I'm so happy I got it. Okay, so here is the next one. It is a tank dress, and it has some cords on the side, so what you can do is you actually pull these, and it scrunches up the dress some, and you tie it in a little bow here at the thigh, but for me, it just doesn't do anything for my shape. I just feel like not confident. So this is a no. How about in black? Okay then, way better. Scrunch it all the way up, girl. You know, to make this part look pedal, so this part can look like, you know? I like this way better. This is gonna look cute with like a jean jacket, leather jacket, like this. Girl. I'm just gonna keep this dress on and I'm just gonna pop on all of the glasses that I wanted to show you guys, starting with these ones. This actually comes in a set of four, and these are the only survivors because I was giving them out to my friends, and I'm like, 
These ones are mine. I absolutely adore these. You can buy them separately if you don't want to buy all four, but honestly, it's just cheaper and it works out that way. They all come individually wrapped, so if you want to give them out as a gift, you can. I'm obsessed. These are very 90s. I don't know if I can handle these. You guys let me know. I'm wanting to talk really slow for some reason. The same ones in black. I feel like I'm either going to marry a rapper or I am going to erase your memory. I don't know. That's men in black. Never mind. These are a pair of glasses you guys have seen quite a bit on my Instagram because I'm obsessed with them. If I were to pick any of these to travel with, I would definitely go with these. They are chunky. They cover a majority of your face if you're not trying to wear makeup every day of a vacation. I absolutely love them. They have good weight to them, so they look and feel expensive, but I believe these are under $20, so really affordable. I also wanted to share some hats with you guys. So here is a fisherman hat. How are we feeling about this hat? It comes in a million different colors, and the size that I'm wearing is a large, extra large. I think it fits me cute. I like the way it looks oversized. If it was tight, choking my head, I would look like I'm literally going fishing, so not what I'm going for. Here is another hat from Brixton, and I love it because it's a straw hat. It's oversized, and it's got a really big, thick band here. I'm like, yes. Get me something to drink. What do you guys think? I love it. You guys have probably seen this many times on my Instagram because I wear this hat all the time. This is a size large. I could have gone with a medium, not gonna lie. It's kind of big. Here's another hat I might as well show you guys while I have your attention. This is a hat that I wear quite often and I get asked questions about it all the time. I mentioned this on my latest live stream. It's a material where it's easy to clean and wipe off. I absolutely love the shade. It's considered a golf hat. So that's why it's hard for you to find it, unless you're searching like golf hat. And I think it might even be colored like sand. It's not tan or nude. And that's basically what I would be searching when looking for this hat. And I found it in my order history. So I'm like, yay, girl, you have to get this hat. And last but not least for the hats would have to be this guy. My little felt fedora, absolutely love it. Some of it's starting to wrinkle, but it's because I don't store my hats correctly. I just throw them like frisbees in my closet. But I absolutely love this hat. I've had it for, I don't know, I wanna say at least a year. And it's held up really nice. Tons of different colors. And one of the cool things about it is that it's adjustable. There is a string in here that you could pull and it actually makes the opening of the hat tighter. So if you have a small little peanut head, which I cannot relate, mine's a watermelon, you can make it tight to fit your head perfectly. But for me, it fits great. Now for bags, I wanted to quickly show you my bags. And these were the most popular parts of my stream anytime I mentioned them and anytime that I wore them in outfits of the day or my little TikTok video, this was hopping. It's not a fanny pack. You don't wear this around your waist. It's actually a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So you wear it like these and I love it. If you don't like the chain, we can also just unclip it and remove it. You can also adjust it to whatever length that you want and you can use this as a strap. And it holds so much stuff. I've actually had this for at least a year, maybe multiple years, and it still looks brand new. Here's another bag and this is the same situation. It's either over your shoulder like this or crossbody like this. This bag is from The Drop by Amazon and it's like a faux crocodile or snakeskin um, print. It's a beautiful brown cognac color. So it has a front and a back zipper. So you can store some more stuff back here. It's lightweight too, so it's not gonna hold you down. It's got adjustable straps like a belt and this is how you would wear it. Okay, and the last bag I'm gonna be showing you guys today is this one here, which is another popular bag that I've been sharing on my outfits of the day posts for the entire month of May. So you guys have to check it out. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you guys do that. Here is a little coin purse that is included. This also comes in a bunch of different colors as well, but of course I went with nude because it goes with so much. And it has this little hanging chain. 
Obviously, it's inspired by, you know, your favorite designers, except for this bag is under $30, I believe. Super affordable, and the quality of the material is so nice, and everybody thought I got it from Nordstrom, and they thought it was Rebecca Minkoff, or even if, like, you look too quick, <laughs> you can mistake it for YSL. Okay, so for the shoes, I'm gonna show you guys these the best that I can without having to adjust my camera too much, but these are the cutest sandals I've seen in a long time. I am obsessed with how bright the color is. It's like this hot coral red. Of course, the square toe is super in right now, a chunky block heel. And these are no higher than three inches, I believe, and because your girl can't be up in the sky for very long without my feet hurting. These also have like these little thongs in here, so they're really like sandals. I think they're so cute. They're funky, but they're super cute. Here's another pair of shoes that I was really excited about because I've seen this all over social media, and I'm like, okay, I have to get them too. I wanted them in a nude color just because I feel like they would go with so much, but I already purchased a nude pair, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. And these are braided sandals, and they come in a bunch of different colors too. I believe like five different shades, and I think that these are so cute. There's that short little kitten heel. That's my kitten heel. That's like a cougar heel, girl. There are the braiding details. I was also checking around the seams to see if there's any like signs or indication that they're cheaply made and they're not. They look really nice and I'm super happy about the quality of these. I might even get a second pair, maybe in black. The next pair of shoes is from Amazon Essentials and they look like this. And they're on the suede side. I don't think it's real suede because these are only $25 and I was shocked at the price because they are super comfortable. Look at that block heel again. I love the straps, super feminine, and there's also like a built-in cushion in the sole, which I really like, because your girl needs support. Next is going to be these shoes. So there's no zip up or anything like that. You just stretch them and get your foot in there, and they have a little bit of a platform, and they are espadrille style. It reminds me of like a sexy Birkenstock, and I'm so happy that I got them, so check these out if you like this style. Okay, girl, not gonna lie, I've been wearing these shoes a lot. I actually purchased them for Jude to wear on our vacation to Florida, they're Crocs. And I know everybody says like they're ugly as hell, but I'm not kidding, they're super comfortable and I wanna put them on my feet if they wouldn't make so much noise as I was recording. They're really comfortable. And the reason why Jude didn't want them is because of the little bumps inside. Can you see that? He doesn't like the texture on his feet. I was like, all right, well, let me put my little foot in there. And they fit me like a glove. These are a size seven. I actually got a size seven and a size eight to see where I would fall on the spectrum and sizing down worked better for me. I tried the platform Crocs and they just were not, I look like a clap. This part was like so exaggerated on the platforms, I could not do it, it was not cute. Just a few other products that I wanted to share with you guys. Here in California, we have to wear our masks for another month. This is a barrier between you and your mask. So here's my mask and what it does is it protects my makeup. So my son actually wears them to school. The reason why we like it is because this is soft, lightweight, you can wash and reuse them. We throw out our masks just because of like sanitary purposes. So he likes it because it gives him almost like a cage of room to breathe in his mask versus wearing your mask and when you talk, some of the mask anyway, you kind of suck it into your mouth and it prevents it from going into your mouth if you have this in here. So he loves them, I love them. These are the bomb, okay? Next is going to be a sunscreen and this is from Super Goop. I use sunscreen a lot now, even more so because I'm getting older and I'm late as hell to my sunscreen protection. But this sunscreen is the best. It does not leave my face greasy, oily. If I am working out or maybe, you know, doing some yard work or in the garage, the sunscreen will melt and like burn me in my eyes. This goes on similar to a primer and it's got like this really cool jelly consistency. Let me show you. Okay, this is how it goes on and it literally just like melts onto your skin. It's so thin and super, super soft to the touch. There is a smaller size 
and also I believe a travel size. So if you guys wanna try it out, but I'm telling you, you're going to regret not getting the full bottle because it's that amazing. It's so, so soft. Okay, something that's not soft would have to be my hands and my feet. I would show you my feet if I wanted you to throw up, but I don't. Like my feet are so bad right now, it's dry as a bone down there, all right? But my hands are also like peeling because of eczema. I have also like allergies to heat and just like environmental stuff. So I'm constantly having like hives or itching or you know blisters and things like that. So it's very uncomfortable. And I saw this product on a cleaning TikTok or a cleaning reel over on Instagram. And it's called Gloves in a Bottle. And I got the small version and honestly, a little bit of this product goes a long way. And what I have started to do is put this on my hands before I wash the dishes or before I start to clean or wash my brushes, do anything. Because throughout the day, we're constantly washing our hands. So you're stripping that oil, the all the moisturizers that you're putting on your hands all day long. So you have to reapply, reapply, reapply. And, and this actually like locks in the moisture for an extended period of time. And I've seen a significant difference just within a few days. This is something that I'm going to incorporate with my feet as well, because again, it just gives you like a barrier. And that's it for this video. It was a lot of things that I showed you today. I didn't realize how much was going to be in this haul. So hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself, found some new products, and if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what you guys have found over on Amazon. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet to join my family. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.